Get ready for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <laughs> Before coming to my speech, I would like to thank Kibayani, all of the audiences here, especially the committees who have given me the chance to speak. In this grateful occasion, I would like to talk briefly about students' role in preserving the national cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let us take a look at the significance of preserving national cultures. To begin with, our Father of Education, King Hajar Dewanta, in a simple way, proposed that the national, the national cultures of Indonesia are the characteristics of the nation itself. Therefore, preserving the national cultures means preserving the existence of Indonesia, since the characteristics of the nation make the nation broadly a Then, this should become far more pressing and significant since there are over 30 national cultures of Indonesia that have been claimed by other countries. Oh. 30, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. This is a very serious issue. On the other hand, modernity has been assumed as the best cultures across the globe. Do you want, please? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, overcoming this issue by all means is the responsibility of all elements of the society in this country. It is the responsibility of all of us as Indonesians. So let's talk about what we as students could possibly do regarding this issue. Let me begin by saying for me there is a solution which in many circumstances has been barely discussed. It is a concept that we know as adaptation. Well, many have said, and I'm trying to agree, that in order to preserve our cultures, we have to learn more about the cultures itself and then practically participate in it. But what I'm saying right now is more than that. It is beyond that. It is even important than that. It is even more important than that. Before that, people often say that cultures are something old, something out of date. Because of this mindset, what we also should do is integration. We have to make the culture adapt with the condition. Actually, examples of the concept have actually been revealed recently. If you go out and look at around you, we can see people wearing batik in football shirts. A few months ago, there was also a batik fashion show in Festival Jogja Kota Batik Dunia. They were also promoting modern design of batik in Indonesia Fashion Week and many more. The thing is, to make this happen, to develop this thing, all we need are those who understand both cultures and the condition of today, today's world at the same time. We need those who understand both. And I believe those are the young generation, and which obviously including us as students. Indeed, it is important to keep the, our culture remains as it is. Yet, I believe that it is more important to preserve the positive values of our cultures. As the world around us changes, the core of the positive values of our cultures remain there. So, brothers and sisters, nothing will be changed until someone changes something. As Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. So, starting from, starting from now, learn more about our cultures. Love our cultures, preserve the positive values of our cultures, and be proud of our cultures. Let the world know Indonesia as a place where culture creates innovation. Indonesia has more than 150 million young productive students from total over 250 million citizens. Okay. If Sokarno say in his famous word that they the world with 10 million, only 10 years to really love their nation. What on earth are we going to do with 150 million of those? Think about it and don't. Do not ever wait for Indonesia because it has been long time since Indonesia has been waiting for your students. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.